Hello everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Yalda on my channel Eat, Burn, Sleep and today I'm gonna show you my children's favorite comfort food. I'm gonna show you how to make a vegetarian chakchuka. I'm a mother of two children and I like to give them a cooked breakfast in the morning. However, I like things to be quick and I use frozen vegetables. So I just wanna touch on this topic. A lot of people are telling me, oh my God, frozen vegetables aren't as good for you as fresh ones. Or if you use tinned tomatoes, they're not as good for you as if you use fresh ones. Let me give you a little bit of nutrition background on this. It always depends on when it has been picked and how long it's been on the shelf. So when vegetables are being frozen, they're being picked generally not early because there's no need for them to travel and arrive and looking beautiful in a supermarket. So generally they're picked later and that adds nutrients. And also because they're frozen, even though the freezing process loses a bit of nutrients, you get the nutrients at that point in time and it gets locked in with maybe a little loss of 10% or whatever it is. When vegetables are fresh, if they are just picked, it's amazing. But if it, they've been in your fridge for six days, five days, because now I don't know what they do to them or they spray on them, but they last forever, then they're not as nutrient rich and we don't know when they've been picked. So the bottom line is do not obsess. If you have fresh, great. If you have frozen, great. I'm gonna be using frozen onions, frozen peppers and tinned tomatoes. So when tomatoes are in a can, try and look for ones that are, have the lining and plastic inside that's BPA free if you can. If you can't, don't freak out. Health is about damage limitation, not about perfection. It's so much better for you to make this for brunch at home or lunch or dinner than ordering food in and really you do not know what they're doing in those kitchens. So just get to your kitchen and make this amazing recipe. So I'm starting with four eggs here. I like to buy mine free range. I've got some chive to decorate. You can use coriander if you prefer. Next, this is one tin or can of uh, tomatoes. These are organic, but you know, if you can get them organic, if not, do not worry about it. I've got some bell peppers here. This is the equivalent of about two peppers. And I've got some frozen onion here, which is the equivalent of one onion. A little bit of garlic puree, about a tablespoon. Again, you can use fresh if you like. And I'm using some tomato con concentrate to add flavor to it. So I have some sea salt here. As long as you do not use fine table salt, everything else is fine. Sea salt is full of iodine. Uh, if you use pink Himalayan salt, it'll have a higher um, uh, iron content and less minerals from the sea. I'm using a little bit of olive oil. It is fine to cook with olive oil for years. People are freaked out about it. But really, if you use your common sense, it has been used in cultures like Crete and Sicily, where people have some of the best longevity rates in the world. So a little bit of olive oil, as long as you don't deep fry in it, is fine. I've got some turmeric, which has amazing anti-inflammatory properties. Cumin, which is a natural anti-bloating. Paprika, which adds so much flavor. I love paprika. And black pepper. Pepper helps you absorb basically everything. It just helps with absorption. So we're gonna start here with a little bit of olive oil. Add the onions and the frozen peppers. So now I'm gonna be adding my spices and how much you add is down to your personal taste, but I put about a teaspoon of paprika, about a teaspoon of turmeric, about a teaspoon of cumin, and half a teaspoon or a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. So I'm adding the garlic as well, tomato concentrate for extra flavor. And you can just try it and see if you need to add salt. You can just salt it to taste. 
After a few minutes, we're gonna crack four eggs. Or you can add more eggs if you're more people. I mean, it's down to your personal taste, how many you wanna put. And what I do at this stage is I just cover it and let it cook until the eggs are done to my liking. And you want to put the heat on medium. Don't leave it too high so the eggs can cook through and everything can soften nicely. So let's check on our eggs. If it feels a bit watery, you can add a little bit of time without the cover so you get rid of the extra steam. And here we go. What I do, I have this really quick trick where I cut chives like this. The scissors on top. I mean, you can make this, this chakchuka with any meat product of your, of your um, choice, if you want to. Here we go, the chakchuka is ready to be served. I absolutely love this. We sometimes have it for dinner with my children. For a quick and comforting dinner, it's amazing. For brunch, breakfast. Mmm, look at this. Mmm. Perfect. It is so good. You can cook the eggs more or less. You can add spices. You can add mushrooms. You can add meat products if you prefer. This is a really amazing recipe to make at home really quick. I hope you enjoyed my video. Make sure to subscribe and see you next time.